Yeah, guys, what's up? Um, the inaugural service is still going on as I'm talking right now, and a lot of things have been said, a lot of things have been said, you know. Um, one of the things I discovered about Nigerian politicians is in their speeches, in either inaugural speeches or speeches at, speeches at events, or any kind of where they are and they are giving speeches, they, they say the right things, okay? Because they know that Nigerians want these things. They know the right things to say, and they know the right things that the Nigerians are expecting. They will say these things in their speech. But unfortunately, after leaving the stage, it's something else entirely. Something else entirely. So that's to tell you that these people know the right things. In 2015, when Buhari was being inaugurated, he made a lot of promises. Wonderful things in a speech. I don't know who wrote the speech for him. Wonderful statement, wonderful points he made as, I mean, things that were expected of him or of a leader to, to say. So, especially when he made the statement of the, the general, the, the virus statement that I am um, for nobody and I am for everybody. You know, it sounded so good that people through that had hope that his administration was going to bring something good, something hopeful. That's going to be a good transformation, a good change indeed. Until he got there, we discovered that it actually was for some people, while it was not for some people. So he had his own people. Because if we are to be honest, and if his administration was to be honest, um, some people are supposed to be in jail by now for the kind of corruption they, they, they did, for the kind of corruption they expressed. But unfortunately, these people are still in the position of powers, and they're also going to rule with this new administration of Bola Tinubu. That's the sad thing. <laughs> so for you to know that we are just still in the same circle, just doing the same thing over and over again, because the same set of people are going to die. So expecting something different, I doubt it. Well, I hope that after everything that Bola Tinubu had said, he would actualize them. I hope, I, I just hope it would, um, the renewed hope is it, it promised, I, I hope that will be actualized. Well, let's be sincere with ourselves. These guys are the same set of people. Except Balatinubi is going to change his own cabinet. He's going to bring a new set of people. He had promised that he's going to involve a lot of women and a lot of youths. We hope he does that. And these women and youths, we also hope that they are not the same people who have the same mentality of leadership, like the past administration or like the same party. We hope they are not the same set of people, the same set of mentality. Because it's easy to say, oh, it's a renewed hope, oh, new president, new era. It's, we've been hearing new era, tipe, tipe, don't say, guys. We just hope that this man is going to do what he had promised. But we still um, have our fingers crossed, expecting what's going to happen in the next 100 days. We're going to expect what's going to happen in the next... He had promised that he's going to... Um, um, we're going to hear a feedback from him as regards his cabinet um, in the next one week. We just hope that he's going to choose good people, good people who have the intention of the development of the country at heart, people who have decided, who have determined, who have made up their mind that they're going to, that they're going to serve Nigeria with open mind, with, with transparency. We hope he's going to gather such people around him. And that is if he has the same thing in his mind. That is if he has the same thing in him. Because I believe that um, the kind of people that surround you tell the kind of person you are. Mm -hmm. The kind of people that surround you tell the, the kind of person you are. So that's it. Um, the inauguration uh, has been very, very wonderful. I just said I should hint you guys. Um, another one that happened in um, one of the... <laughs> I, I'm going to show you the video. It's funny how the tents where uh, they were having the inauguration program, and the, the, the thing collapsed. Why? Why? It doesn't make any sense, does it? It doesn't make any sense. What were they doing? How did they erect it that they could not make these things firm? I mean, the, 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 the roof, the, the cover kind of collapsed. Watch, watch. <laughs> Is <laughs> that 
Guys, that's Kano State, the inauguration of uh, Abaka Bill. It's, it's, uh, I, I wonder why that would happen. Don't tell me any, anything can happen with a mistake. No, 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 not, not this kind of event. Not this kind of event. Anyways, it is well. Um, once again, we hope this administration is going to bring something good. And don't forget, the case is still going on. Um, Peter will be still, still fighting this battle. And um, we hope something good comes out of it. We hope something good out, comes out of it. And if he loses, we hope that Bola Tinubu will do the right thing. And, and, and talking about um, first subsidy removal, <laughs> how well will this thing help us? How well? You know, it's very, very important. We can't just say we'll remove subsidy like that. What, what's, what's, what, what's the backup plan for it? Even Obi also promised the same thing when it was happening, that's going to be removed. And the reason is because um, people are hiding behind it to embezzle money and so on. Fine, we have to cop that. But what is the backup? None of them has ever said anything um, that, has, that, that would be like a backup plan or something that can help, even after removal of the subsidy, something that can still favor the citizens. None of them. So many of these things, I just thought, <laughs> hey, hey, Nigeria, we are in Ito. We are in Ito. Buying it. God help Nigeria, yeah? It is well. I'm talking about security. <laughs> Under Buhari administ uh, Buhari's administration, it was a very serious one. I mean, a lot of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people died from bandits, from um, herdsmen, Fulani herdsmen, from gunmen, and all that. Niger Delta gunmen, and, and all of them. A lot of people died. And there were a lot of uh, reports that even the president hardly addressed some of these things. There was a time he would appoint some top officials to go and represent him in the areas where these things happened, and they would not go. And nobody was fired. Nobody. Which means he doesn't care, never cared about it. He would just say it, okay, go and nobody did it to them. He didn't do anything about it. So what's the assurance that the same thing is not going to happen under uh, Bola Tinubu uh, uh, administration? So, guys, we really need to, of course, pray for Nigeria and also do a lot of things because the way it is right now, come up with you. Crazy. We're only hopeful that something good is going to come out. We're only hopeful. Well, Bala Tinubu appeared to be a smart man, for real. He appears to be a smart man. He appears to be an intelligent man, for real. I know that one for sure. But um, hey, what about the kind of people that are surrounding him? You know, I, I've been talking about that. You see, I, I discovered that every leader would want to do one thing or the other. Every leader actually had the intention of doing the right things. But the kind of people that they surround themselves with, what they tell me, if they are good intention, will actualize, will be realized. That is the cocoa. That is the cocoa. Let's even say Bart has good intention for the country. Let's agree that he has good intention for the country. The kind of people that will surround him, will come. see, God bless Nigeria again. All right, guys, bye. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.